What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an all new ride and review for you today. I am going to another omakase joint with the cake dealer, meeting her there. We are going to a newish place, I think it's new anyway, it's called Shiso. Um, they are located on 9th Street near 2nd Ave. So I am just ripping up, right now I'm on Pitt which turns into Avenue C. And yeah, I'm excited. Uh, the wife got a, she got a pulse deal, like a flash deal. One of those, uh, you, you pay for a discounted meal, you like buy a coupon or something. So pulse deal had um, two omakases, 18 courses, uh, and some sake for uh, which eventually, which essentially is 50 bucks each. It was $99. So 50 bucks each, two 18 course meals. That's pretty good. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it is. Don't know much about the place other than it's, I think it's sort of new. Um, we got a lot of traffic on this street right now. I'm going to try to get in front of it. I mean, as you know, if you watch my channel, omakases, we do a lot of omakases, not always my thing, but, um, you know, I'm getting pretty familiar with how they go now, and I know what I like. There are some really good ones for very good prices in our area, especially in, here in the Lower East Side, like um, under $100 a head. So, two people for $100 is a great deal, especially for 18 pieces. Usually, um, they're around 12 to 15 pieces in that price range. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm just coming up here on to 5th. Oh, this traffic is nuts. What is going on here? People just double parked, hanging out. 5th Street. Let me get through this light. I don't feel like waiting. People take it forever. Yeah, um, got the Chimera out. Doing a quick rip up here. A little bit gloomy, a little bit chilly. But still really comfortable. It's a nice change up for the summer. It's been crazy hot. Just yesterday it was 95 degrees. So today being in the 60s is pretty awesome. Just riding by um, one of our Electric Wednesday spots right here, Bobby's Night Out great bar right there on the corner check it out if you've never been okay so this is gonna basically um, 9th Street basically hits Tompkins Square Park so I'm gonna have to go through the park and out the other end and I've actually been meaning to get into this park and try out there's a little skate park in there it's basically just um, like a like a big flat surface spot with um, ramps that are sort of built and left there or moved in uh, I don't know if you could see it on the right probably not but the uh, it's definitely more geared towards skaters but I do like ramp jumps so I would like to get in there with the Chimera one of these days and really uh, send it and see how it goes all right almost through to the other side now this was a bumpy ride through here yeah, here's the park. Yeah, I don't know. They don't have them out today, it doesn't look like. So I guess they come and go, they pull them in and out. Okay, so I just crossed A. Ripping across ninth. I believe it's between second and third. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. I know it's number 214, so I'll just keep an eye on the numbers. Getting stuck in this light again. Damn it. And not too far from that shop, uh, Bike Fix. I went in there the other day. My, um, my rear wheel on the Zoos the spokes and the eyelets for the spokes are making a lot of noise. 
and the wheel I tried to tighten up some of the spokes and the wheel was just a little bit out of true so I brought it in there and half hour they did it for me 30 bucks trued it tightened up all the spokes they did a great job super happy with them uh, let's see this place is right here on the left there's a lot of closed up shit over here damn yeah all right here it is all right let me pull in lock it up and i will see you on the inside Shiso. There was no shiso. We did not have a shiso leaf in the meal. Um, pretty good. I mean, we've had better in terms of like quality and and uh, pieces, you know, like, but and the flavors. But this um, this was a really great deal for the price. You know, like I was saying, low hanging tree branches there. Got some bobbing and weaving. Um, yeah, like I was saying, fifty dollars each. That's that's a great deal. So, um, favorite pieces: the uh, the uni there at the end, the last piece, which they which they brought out after our dessert. I think they had us confused with the people next to us who had a, a fifteen course instead of eighteen. They thought we were done already. <laughs> um, that was good. I also like the um, the amber jack and the whoop, strip jack, shima aji. Those were good. Um, the stuff with the crispy uh, chili crisp on top and garlic, those were good. Uh, both the, the shrimp with the uh, orange tobiko on top and the squid with the orange ikura on top were really good. Hadn't seen squid in a while at one of these. That was nice. The torch marks were beautiful on that piece um, with the knife scoring. Very, very nice. Um, one of the most interesting bites. Um, was toward the end there we had um roasted barbecue eel with banana in like a hand roll and i oh mean i've never seen that before it was so unique the eel was a little uh spicy barbecuey and then the banana added some sweetness to it and an awesome texture 
just a nice ripe banana, like one slice. Never had anything like that before. What a strange and delicious combination that was. So, so that was um, that made the trip all worth it for me. Um, they also were serving one of those. Um, I guess it's sort of like a riff on um, a bagel with lops. They do uh, salmon with onions and uh, and like a, a blistered tomato on top. It was okay. We've had that before at other places, but this wasn't um, quite as good as those other spots. But still a really good meal. Um, we got, I guess I would say three cups of sake. Uh, so that wasn't bad. Um, two each and then we shared one, I, I should say. Five cups of sake. Uh, so yeah, jump out to the website johnnyprimesteaks.com check out the full review the full write up everything all the photos and as usual make sure there's no cars coming make sure you like subscribe tell your friends tell your family tell your fucking grandma